How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing an alternative debug. Now, this is something that I was actually talking about and showed in the live stream. I actually did a live stream yesterday for the very first time, and it was actually funny because I did not mean to do a live stream. I, I knew YouTube had live stream capabilities, and I hit record, and I set it all up, and I wanted to test to see if the audio was working. And all of a sudden, someone showed up immediately, and I was like, oh, how's it going? And then five people showed up, and 10 people showed up, and then maxed out at 15 people at one point. And I ended up doing a two and a half hour live stream and it was just so much fun. So I'm going to do another one tonight at 8, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If that works for you, I will be around. It should be a little bit before what I did last night, which was spontaneous. Um, but definitely stay around for that later tonight if you see that live. One of the things we talked about um, was, and you can see it in the live stream, which has been recorded. So you can check it out on my channel if you're so inclined um, one of the things we talked about was the debug kind of goes down a lot in Construct 2 because NWJS keeps getting updated and so does Construct 2 and it goes back and forth. So I'm using the beta, I'm not using the beta build, I'm using the stable build of Construct 2. Uh, and I recommend that you do that as well, even though the beta build kind of comes with new features, it's better to just stay stable. Uh, and even now and then my projects get a little corrupt when it comes to the debug, it, something just happens with NWJS. And it just doesn't work. So usually my fix is to set the title of the window, which you can see here where it says parameters for NWJS. You've probably seen it in some of my videos. Um, I have the title set and you can actually debug information there. Like right here, I'm having the object count and the frames per second and the CPU utilization. So actually I can even label these as CPU and I could label this as um, FPS like this. And I can label this as the object count. Now, this is cool, but if you're using, um, and this is actually something that happened to me, uh, if you're using the basic version of Windows, or if you're just using something that doesn't show uh, the title. So if I hit play here on this game, you can see here that the title just does not show because I had to use the basic uh, theme for Windows for streaming, so I might as well just leave it at that. But um, yeah, it, it doesn't show up anymore. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, if that doesn't show up, Oh yeah, that's right, I know this other tip. So here's an alternative way to debug. One of the things that we can do here is we can actually, um, I, I have a very basic uh, portion of my projectile template put into this game. And you can see I'm calling two separate triggers. I have left button is down and on left button clicked. And they call the same function, but they have different parameters being passed into them. So if this parameter is passed into this function, it's only going to play this line of code. If this parameter is passed in, it's only gonna play this line of code. And it's very important that we um, have those be distinctive for our shooting controls, but that's not what this tutorial is about. What I can do is I can add an action to the browser and I can log to the console. And this is actually going to log to the console page. If you go to DevTools on Chrome, uh, this is exactly what it's going to be logging out to, which is something that's very common if you're building websites. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to write pressed. It's very simple and I'm going to copy and paste this and I'm going to debug out down, just like this. And this is great, but now I need a way to actually pop up the dev tool since I'm not using a browser. I'm using Node WebKit, which is technically a browser, but at the same time, I'm using something that is supposed to be for desktop applications. So I can actually go to NWJS and I can have, oops, no, I can go to the keyboard. I can say on key press spacebar or any key for that matter that I want to debug because spacebar might be something you use for your game. I can go to NWJS and I can show the dev tools when I hit space. And just like that, now if I hit play, and I hit space, you can actually see what you would see if you viewed the page source on, a, on any web page. And now if I go to console, you can see how Construct 2 is running. And this is really cool. So now when I click, you can see that it's pressed. And because this is kind of simultaneous, because it's checking to see if pressed and clicked, uh, they're both gonna be called. But if I'm holding it down, you can see that down is, it keeps added to the down log, which is really, really cool. Um, now, in my projectile template, which will be released soon, uh, I have it completely different because this is actually not how um, I would program this projectile. This is the basics of how I would do a uh, shooting thing like this now, but I would actually have it cycle through the array first so that this error, when I press it and I hold it down, it wouldn't happen because it would only detect for that weapon. And since we don't have an array holding our weapons or anything like that yet, uh, that's just my example. So that is how you can alternatively debug, and it's really cool. So the other thing I can do here is I can copy and paste this browser log, and this is actually going to be a little bit off, so I can actually I can put what my window title was going to be there, and maybe instead of every tick, because I think it'll be a little bit 
too much. I'm going to do every two seconds. Every two seconds, let's have the browser log the information that was supposed to be in the title, which is just some generic debug information. Uh, and now when I hit play and I hit spacebar and I go to the console, you can see every, uh, every few seconds there it pops up. Every two seconds it pops up, and there we go. So using this is very, very, very beneficial, and I hope that this tip helps you with developing your games. I think it's actually, for the most part, it might even be more standard than uh, the actual debug that comes with Construct 2. Now, the actual debug that comes with Construct 2 is really powerful, and it is really good when it is working, but it does have the tendency to not work sometimes, so there is a work around for that. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this. If you are around tonight, which is the April 4th, uh, if you're around tonight uh, at 8 p.m., then please check out the live stream. Uh, I will try to mention it more throughout the week as I do them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but they were fun, so we're going to continue to do so. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do like it, leave a thumbs up on this video. Comment below with other tutorials that you want to see. And make sure you subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next one.